we've gone from complete radio silence to a whole bunch of tweets coming down the pipe. We're going to dive into those tweets and see what it means for season two of Diablo 4. I hope you'll join me. See you on the other side. All right, let's get into the tweets and the article that I was referring to. Uh, I'm on Wowhead's website, and this is the article, Season of Blood, Deep Dive Streams Will Take Four Hours, Blizzard Confirms. And let's look at the three tweets that specifically piqued my interest, and they're all uh, talked about in this one article. And the first one comes from Rod Ferguson. As you know, he's the general manager of the Diablo franchise. So much stuff in Diablo 4 Season 2 that at Pez Radar will need to host two deep dive streams to cover it all. And then Adam Fletcher, which is Pez Radar, who is the communications person at uh, Activision Blizzard. It is quite a lot. I expect both streams to be around two hours. I'm going to get into what this all means. And then we have a third tweet uh, f replying to the previous two tweets to Rod and Adam. And basically, Adam, who's a designer uh, in Diablo 4, lead designer, this is no exaggeration. The team's been hard at work to bring a whole lot of exciting updates to the game. I'm really excited for everyone to see what we've been up to. All right. Now, I'm not going to read the article. But basically, uh, Wowhead's article says, you know, goes into what all three tweets said. And then at the end, they basically say, and I'm paraphrasing, we're going to wait and see because in the past, they've done this before and let us down. So it's a wait and see. Okay. So I want to make the following comments to these latest tweets. And that is two things are being done here. Number one, clearly the Diablo 4 dev team is hyping up and trying to get hype for season two and also their live streams. Why are they doing that? They're doing that because the game is literally dead and, you know, they <laughs> don't want to be embarrassed like they were, uh, I think it was in Asia where they did a live stream of the game where it was uh, a team against another team or some sort of format and there was nobody in, in the stadium um, and it was a small stadium. Uh, and actually the streamer that was streaming that event was actually asked to cut the stream off because it was so embarrassing. There was nobody there, just the players and maybe one or two people in the stands. So... Um, clearly, they recognize the fact that their audience is deteriorating, let alone the, pl the player base. Uh, so this is hyping up what's coming in a couple of weeks. So that's purpose number one. But what I'm really intrigued about is purpose number two. And that is this has to be amazing news for us, guys. I have to say... I'm getting a little bit of the Diablo 4 vibe back after reading these tweets because the I'm a half the glass is half full kind of guy and I cannot believe that the dev team at Diablo 4 is so tone deaf that they would do these tweets with the knowledge that they know they're not going to be adding extra content like that is not only tone deaf, that's that would be the dumbest move in history. So thinking about this, my conclusion is they actually do have surprises for us, which is exciting because that means the game is getting closer to where it needs to be. And that excites me not only from a gaming perspective as a gamer, because as you guys have heard me throughout my Diablo 4 content, I love this game. I don't love where it ended up going, but I do love the game. I've always said in all of my content, 
my Diablo 4 content, that this game has a tremendous base. I know a lot of you uh, don't agree with that, but I believe this game has a huge potential and there is a couple of fixes that need to happen and they're big ones. And then this game is something that players can sink their teeth into many, many, many years. So that excites me. So I can't believe that they would do something like this and not have something to deliver. They can't be that dumb, excuse the expression. So I'm super, super excited about this. I, like a lot of thoughts go in my mind when I saw this. Number one, I think the shell shock of what's transpired in this game has really resonated with them. And it's made them realize we got to fast track some shit. And what I suspect is internally during this lull of information and them soaking in all the negativity and seeing like, I'm going to show you right now. Okay. And seeing what's actually happening. Okay. Of course they see the live numbers and they see their player base is not playing the game. But then also, like, look at this. Diablo 3 has 5,500 people watching it on Twitch, okay? Now, I understand Diablo 3, new season, everybody's playing it. But where is Diablo 4? We come back in an hour, guys. I'll get to it. <clears throat> look at this. 969 viewers. The old game is beating the new game. That's crazy. Diablo, I understand Diablo 3 has a player base that has a foundation, new season, but there's no way a new game should be outnumbered by an old game. I don't care what game, within the same franchise. Sorry, that's a major point, okay? So that, I have to say, during the lull, slapped them in the face and what I think transpired is, remember how Rod said, you know, we got 7,000 teams. You know, we have a team that's dedicated to the live game and, you know, managing the live game and addressing any issues, right? And then they have a team that's assigned to the even number seasons. And then they have a team dedicated solely on the odd numbered seasons. What I suspect, again, my guess is they said, okay, guys, we got to put more meat on the bone. And he went to both season teams, the dev teams that are working on seasons, odd and even, and he fast tracked some of the content that they initially planned for later releases because they know that if they stick just to what has already been announced for season of blood which is basically five bosses which i believe are four reskinned and one new boss there's now a um there's now a gear check starting at level 55 there is the fact that we can um Far, target farm uniques and uber uniques gems no longer occupy inventory space and there's going to be a search um a search filter function in the stash okay that's basically the high points of season of blood and if i've forgotten any excuse me but i'm going off the top of my head but you get my you get the drift okay they finally realized that's not going to that's not going to wash with the player base guys and so they already don't have any players playing it so if they would have continued down that path season 3 would have been the last nail on the coffin for Diablo 4 so i suspect rod and team internally guys what can we fast track to put more meat on the bone hence these tweets they were able to come up with some more content and put these tweet, tweets out. So bottom line, 
I'm excited, super excited. I can't wait for these live streams. I can't wait to see what the extra meat on the bone is. Super exciting. And for selfish reasons, I'm encouraged and excited because the majority of my Diablo 4 content lately has been, well, predominantly has been more of a negative tone, which is not who I am and not what I want to be. I want to talk about the good things happening in this game. I want to talk about what I'm doing in the game. I want to talk about what's going on in the game. I want to talk about things that are up and coming in the game that are exciting. I want to talk about the health, the good health of this game. I want to talk about the positive things about this game. I don't want to be talking about the crap that I've been talking about. That's the last thing I want to do. But I just do want to say one thing because a lot of the comments are around, Sammy, stop talking about Diablo 4. It's a waste of time. They're this, they're that. It's dead. The game is dead. You know, why are you talking about this game? I'm going to answer that question. And that is, I'm going to continue to talk about this game because I'm passionate about the game. I like the game. It's a game when I first heard about it and looked at it and played the beta that I thought, okay, this is a game that's up my alley and something that I can play for many, many, many years. So that was exciting. And for that to be taken away so quickly was frustrating. Like the majority of you, I'm sure, well, I know there's a lot of you that are frustrated because you're in my comments section on all my videos and I get it, I feel you. I totally understand. I'm like you. I feel the same way. So it's exciting to know that potentially um, we are going to get that back. So that's number one. And number two, I don't want to talk negative anymore. I want to talk positive. Okay. And what I have to say to that, just one more final thought is I'm not going to sugarcoat things, guys. If the state of the game is in a bad state, and the, if the state is that the game is in a bad state, then unfortunately my dialogue around and the videos around the game are going to be that the fact that the game is in a negative state. I don't control the nar narrative. The game controls the narrative, okay? And I am not going to lie and do a video on mean not feeling that way in other words be positive about something that's negative because i'm worried i don't know that oh i have a relationship with blizzard so i you know i don't want to you know ruffle their feathers or else it's gonna you know impact me financially i'm not in that position okay and no disrespect to anyone that's doing that i don't care if you're doing it that's your business you're entitled to do whatever you want but i'm gonna call it like it is uh, because that's who I am. I'm going to stay true to the content. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it just to protect my wallet. Never going to happen. So enough about that. This is exciting. Super exciting. There's no way there's not going to be more content being put into season two after these tweets. Okay? No way. So... There's more content coming in season two, guys. This is positive and a step in the right direction. And I'm super excited. I can't wait. Like, it, we're going to probably, it's going to happen in the next two weeks. The game's a month away. So this is coming down the pipe quick. And I'm super excited. And I'm going to be the first one to stand up and applaud these guys if they finally listen and are going to fix a lot of the core issues. Now, one last thing before we go. They, I hope that the things that they're going to fix are the things that need to be fixed. And to me, the, the, the elephant in the room is the boredom of playing the game and the repetitiveness of playing the game. That, and I know there's a lot of sub subjects to fixing that, and we're not going to get into them because I've already gotten into them in previous videos. And if this is the first time you've watched my video, I, 
I encourage you to go into my YouTube channel and go to my Diablo 4 content and you can see my opinions on how we got here. Um, but there's no way that this, there's no way they can't put meat on the bone. So it's exciting. I'm super excited and I cannot wait in the next couple of weeks, we are going to get the details of this. So thanks for watching everybody. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I don't know, some of you maybe haven't seen this, but I wanted to share this article because it had all three tweets instead of me going one tweet at a time on Twitter. Sorry, X. Uh, so let me know your comments. What do you guys think? Too late? You're never coming back? Because I've gotten those comments. Um, if they put more meat on the bone, are you going to play season two? Because the other comments, a lot of comments that I've gotten is, I'm not playing season two. Um, so let me know what you think. Put it in the comments section. I would really appreciate it. I know personally, like I said, I'm excited. This is a huge step if they deliver on these comments. So again, thanks for watching. And for those of you that this is your first time watching, if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, until next time.